Welcome to Home Biz Tax Talk. My name is Lysandra Everett. I am the Home Biz Tax Lady where I help home business owners win the tax game. Home Biz Tax Talk airs Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And when you tune into my show, you're going to hear about topics that are important to the home business community. Okay, so cryptocurrency. The IRS uh, starting actually last week, uh, taxpayers are starting getting letters from the IRS um, you know, to they're sending letters to cryptocurrency users saying, hey, pay your taxes. All right. So let's get a little bit of backstory on what happened. So in 2015, the IRS reported that out of I don't know how many goo gobs of users there were of cryptocurrency, only 802 people filed their taxes, um, you know, for gains in cryptocurrency. And so then uh, the IRS sued Coinbase, which is the largest U.S. Um, crypto platform. The IRS sued Coinbase for access to those users. They had issued a John Doe summons. Coinbase put up the fight, you guys. They put up a very good fight. But at, in the, at the end of the day, the IRS um, sued and got access to all of these users. Now, in the beginning, the IRS... They were really targeting uh, people that had transactions in twenty thousand dollars or more. They were also looking for the criminal element. Okay, that's that was the initial reason for that, and and they and they really had some success for, with that. I saw cases where they found people who were. Um, who were uh, drug trafficking, using cryptocurrency, funding some terrorist organizations using cryptocurrency. So th there was a lot of stuff that was going on underground with cryptocurrency that the criminal investigative unit, you know, they found these people, they were prosecuted, sent to jail, all that stuff. But one of the things that I told you is that's where the IRS was going to start. That's not where they were going to stay. Well, here we are. So now the IRS is sending out letters to people saying, hey, if you have not filed these taxes, we urge you and, you know, we suggest you get on that. So let me read what it says. It says that more than 10,000 taxpayers are expected to receive the letters by the end of August. The IRS uh, obtained the names of these taxpayers through ongoing compliance efforts. And it mentions the John Doe summons of Coinbase, the largest Bitcoin and Ethereum exchanges in the U.S., and so they talked about the, you know, they, they won that case. So there are three different types of letters being sent to um, taxpayers, but all three versions aim to help taxpayers understand their tax and filing obligations and how to correct previous errors. The letters also tell taxpayers where they can find relevant information on the IRS website, including which forms and schedules to use and where to send them. So, um, you know, this has been something that's ongoing because um, last year, the IRS announced a virtual currency compliance campaign that was aimed at dealing with non-compliance with virtual currency. And so virtual currency, cryptocurrency, the same thing. And I saw it in my own online community where people were, you know, were really, you know, basically fighting the fact, okay, well, the, uh, we don't have to report this, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Well, yeah, you really did have to. And, you know, we saw the instances where people were talking about, oh, I went and bought a cup of coffee. Oh, I went and bought a sandwich with my cryptocurrency. All of these types of things created these taxable events. And so if you weren't reporting these gains, then you, 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 you weren't following the law. OK, so this is so this is what we're talking about when we talk, you know, we're talking about compliance. And then even there was, you know, the big fight as to whether or not you could exchange one cryptocurrency for another and do that without any uh, tax implications. That was incorrect. And so there's going to be a lot of stuff that's going on with this. Um, I have my great friend, Rebecca Monique, who's on here, is also a cryptocurrency tax person. And she says exchanges will be, if they haven't already, be self-reporting on their users. Exchanges that don't want to comply with U.S. Reg regulations have started kicking U.S. users off. If this is only the beginning. It really is, you guys. Even, I told y'all the IRS might be slow. But they ain't stupid. And there is no statute of limitations on fraud on when you don't file things. So if you intentionally ignore these letters and you intentionally don't file, this is not going to be cute. OK, this is, you know, this is why we're sharing this information. So um, back to this virtual uh, compliance campaign. 
you know, and so so that you understand, you know, when you U.S. citizens, we are taxed on worldwide income. So it doesn't matter if you trade it on Coinbase, if you use Binance, if you use some other foreign exchange, not only do you have to report those gains as you, and pay taxes on those gains, but you also may have foreign reporting requirements if you're holding uh, you know, accounts in foreign areas. Like I said, Binance is in Malta. I don't even know where Malta is, but I know it's not in the U.S., okay? <laughs> but that's the point, is that you have to understand that as a U.S. citizen, you are taxed on worldwide income. It doesn't matter where you earn the income. It doesn't matter where you're holding the income, the, the cryptocurrency. It does does not matter if you are a U.S. citizen and you're trading on um, exchanges that may be overseas. Doesn't matter. You still got to pay taxes in the U.S. and you know and whatever that foreign uh, requirement is as well. Okay, so just understand that. So virtual currency is you know. And I guess we know it's not going anywhere now, but there's still compliance issues, and it's this it's ever evolving. Okay ever evolving with what's happening. So, um, so basically if you have, you know, bought and sold cryptocurrency and you have not claimed those gains, the time to do it is now, you know, what, whatever it is, if you have not claimed it, the time to do it is now, because if you wait for the IRS to come for you, that's not going to be cute either. So you need to make sure that, you know, if you have purchased anything with cryptocurrency, buying cryptocurrency does not create a taxable event. But if you sell your cryptocurrency, and meaning that if you, if you um, trade your cryptocurrency for another for form of cryptocurrency, that creates a taxable event. If you buy goods and services with your cryptocurrency, that is a taxable event. If you get paid in cryptocurrency, then you treat that amount the day that you receive it as ordinary income. And if you, you know, continue to hold it and it grows, then you pay, you know, capital gains on that growth. So this is not a, you know, cryptocurrency is not something where you can just go make tax free money. It's just not. And the other thing that, that people seem to get confused with is that understanding that cryptocurrency is considered property is not, it's not like a dollar. It's not like a yen or anything like that. What we call fiat, fiat currency. This is considered property. So if you want to think of it, think of it like stock. You know, to get an idea of how cryptocurrency is viewed, there's lots of nuances with cryptocurrency. And this is why we highly encourage you to reach out to tax professionals to help you get this done so that you can report properly. Because on the flip side of this, the penalties and interest on this stuff, and especially for my crypto users that got in really early and, you know, when cryptocurrency might have been a dime or something and now is worth, you know, what? thousands and thousands of dollars, you know, you've got lots of gains to report on. And if you're trading, if you were trading crypto, like, you know, on, on a regular basis, just for instance, um, I read an article about a college student who, you know, made all this money in cryptocurrency because he was trading and he didn't realize his trades were taxable. So he wound up with a big old tax bill, then Bitcoin tanked. And so he had his tax bill and then no money to pay it. So even if you fall into that category of, okay, I made all this money when I was, you know, trading uh, cryptocurrency back and forth, even if you can't pay that tax bill, you still need to report it. And then you work that out with the IRS. P please hear me clearly. Do not think that because you not reporting your, your cryptocurrency means that they're not going to find you, means that it's not going to go away. It does not mean that all. It might take them some time. But listen, that whole statute of limitations thing, people always like, well, they only got three years to audit my return. That does not count in the case of fraud or non-filing. Okay, I need for you all to get that. All right. So that's the deal. So if you um, if you 
have dealt in cryptocurrency and even from this point going forward if you're um you, you know keeping track listen the biggest thing is keeping track of your basis now we have great software to help people track their cryptocurrency transactions in the beginning it wasn't so <laughs> not so much <laughs> right but the main thing is that you had to keep track of your basis so that you are paying taxes on your gains and not paying taxes on all of your cryptocurrency all right, so that's it. But that is what is going on in this crypto world right now, you guys. The letters are coming. And if you get a letter, do not ignore it. Get help from a tax professional. If you need some, you know, if you, I, I'm available to help you, I have a whole squad of people that I know that, um, that take care of, of cryptocurrency taxes. So please, please, oh, please, I am begging you, get some help. Do not ignore these letters, all right? So that is it for today's episode of Home Biz Tax Talk. Again, we air Monday through Friday, 9 o'clock-ish. And you can come right here to get your questions answered. All right, have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.